Next, we have Andy Lash, who is founder of Opstarts, Inc. Uh, cool. So uh, Opstarts, it's a, basically a new take on operational planning. So what is operational planning? It's stuff like budgets and forecasts and runway. Um, and if you have a startup and you maybe want investors, they demand this stuff. Um, or if you just want to run a business in a reasonable way, you need to be able to make decisions like, can I afford to hire this person? Or how much should I charge? Or what about annual? What should the discount be? All of that stuff. Um, it doesn't require that you have like a finance background. And you know, today, mostly people do it in Excel. And Excel sucks. So this is sort of a, a different take. Uh, Cool. Let me just reload that. All right. So, uh, so I'm in Opstarts. It's a Meteor application. We picked Meteor because uh, for several reasons. So one of them is it's nice and reactive. So um, that's what you're seeing here. Over on the left, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, elements that make up my plan. So stuff like employees, uh, expenses, which could be uh, one time or ongoing monthly, annual, growing, all of that sort of stuff. I've got a bunch of different types of products. Uh, I was inspired by my t-shirt today, so I decided to build a bacon as a service business plan. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, uh, all right, cool. So over here on the right side, this is basically showing like what the what the financials of the plan look like. And on the top right, you can see that I've got a runway of one month, meaning I'm going to run out of money in a month. So that sucks. Uh, so let's say I'm able to raise some money, and I get a seed investment of say two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. So cool. So that makes it ten months. That's a lot better. Um, other stuff I might do, I could say, well, I'm planning to hire this designer, but instead of hiring him, maybe I uh, bring in a contractor instead. So I've disabled that one and enabled this thing. Um, a second reason why I really was interested in Meteor is because it plays well with others, and we need lots of views on the same data. So here are you know, the kind of standard chart visualizations, and that's all high charts. But Maybe you want to look at it in, uh, as a grid instead. Um, we also have this idea that looking at it over time is interesting. So this is a calendar control um, that we built. And I can, if I want to move things around because I want to hire someone at a different time, I can certainly do that. Uh, similarly, um, over here, there's this view where it gives a nice like D3 kind of circuit diagram. Uh, um, and you know, when you're building a plan, things relate to each other. So you can see over here, here's my like, basic subscription model. And that's being fed by an ad campaign that's driving some money. And then since I'm sending people bacon, I also have to buy the bacon. So there's a cost here. And I can look at that over time, and eventually I've got my you know, premium version that also involves pancetta, apparently. And then I can continue to scroll over time. And then later, I'm going to try to sell people pans that they can make bacon in. And that also has a cost. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. So um, going back here. Um, I wanted to look at growth. I thought that's sort of like an interesting thing. So if I dig into that basic. Uh, uh, product again, you can see that most of my sales, and here's sort of the starting subscribers and the ending subscribers, most of them are being driven by this ad campaign that I have. So, you know, if that's working, why not try to do more? So instead of just advertising on Google, let me add a new expense and I'll do Facebook ads and spend some money, maybe not $100,000 though, uh, doing that. Um, and then I can link this to uh, my basic subscription product. And my cost per lead, I'll assume it's similar to Google, so I'll put in $10 for that. And you can see, cool, so that gave me more subscribers here. My runway is now over five years, which means a sustainable business that only gets within $2,000 of zero, which is actually kind of terrifying. But anyway, maybe there's more to work on there. Um, other stuff, you know, if you want to dig into your expenses, you can do that. You can filter however you like there. Similarly, you can do that with revenues. And then over here, there's a big section of reports. So if you have to present to your investors, um, 
you know, that stuff is easy. You don't have to make spreadsheets. So anyway, we're now in an open alpha. So if you've got a company and you want to do planning and you don't want to do it with a crappy spreadsheet, come talk to me or send me email at Andy at Opstarts. Thanks, Andy. We have questions for Andy. Yeah. Is it open sign up? Do we have to email you to? Uh, no, you can you can sign up on the site. Oh, is it open sign up? Yeah. So you can sign up on the site, but then we approve you because we're trying to kind of control the number of people right now. All right. We have a question from Twitter. What D3 library for visualizing graphs was that? Uh, it's. It's D3 and then something called uh, DiGraph that's doing the direct acyclic graphs. Um, I feel like there's more to the name of that library that I'm forgetting, so I'll, I'll go look it up. Okay. Thank you very much, Andy. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>